Oh my gosh, Cheryl, it's so good to see you in person, finally. I know. Like, without a mask. Enough Zooms. And not virtual, I'm, I'm done, done with the Zooms, yes. Yes, we've made it safely here, and we're so excited to be here. So, we're just so thrilled to be able to present this design schematic plan for you, and the process yeah. Yeah. that we're about to undergo. Buddy and I are ready. We're ready? representing the family today, and we're like, <laughs> Thanks, absolutely <buddy>. ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 From a design perspective, Julia's put together a fantastic package. We're okay. excited to show you, and we have all the corresponding examples here okay. to show you and touch and feel and get the idea of the texture and exactly what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, so Julia's going to walk you through that, and then we can start looking over next steps and getting ready for construction. Okay, perfect. So excited. So enter into your new home. The first priority was to revamp the entrance. Um, I know you, you want something that's entirely practical, so lots of storage, a lot of beauty, but a lot of hardware and beauties. So we're gonna go kind of dramatic in the entryway. I think you like the dark when it came to flooring. Listen, the reality is muddy kids, muddy dogs, and that means I'll be forever cleaning. Yeah. If it's a white floor, that will drive me berserk. You're gonna need some built-ins as well. So somewhere for you and the kids and Kevin to sit, to put on your shoes, but also cubbies for clothing all year round, so all season. I've got three different textures of slate-inspired finishes. And these are all from Stone Tile. They're an amazing porcelain tile, so it's gonna be really hard wearing, as I said. We'll get um, all kinds of shapes and cuts that we want to fit the area. Kevin and I talked about dark in the front. Yeah. I don't feel like this is, okay, can, it, would you say this? Yes. Okay, good. And because you wanna know also is because of the, it's a really natural texture to it. It yeah. almost looks like a cut stone. And I think that's, I think any texture regardless of the design yeah. adds an element of warmth. Okay. So when we're infusing a lot of modern elements into your overall redesign and okay, all just from a technical perspective too this is this is a virtual slate essentially okay. but it's a porcelain yeah natural illusion slate. of slate natural slate is a maintenance concern especially at a front entrance salt it's going to soak in it's going to yeah. stain okay question but though, what about this if someone drops something on it it's like, very very durable yeah is it? Okay. yes it won't crack yeah. like natural but slate. if something well, extreme good. happens it's still replaceable okay and yeah. affordable okay all the good things. Check, 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 check. Perfect. One of your favorite wall textures is something we call shiplap. I love shiplap. Okay, so working, I think that's that's where we're gonna put it. At your entryway, it'll be sort of the feature wall that you'll walk into. Like when you first walk in, you see it? Yes. Okay. We'll have a nice mirror. You check yourself out before you go to school and work. Um, it will have some illumination with sconces. And then I'm seeing built-ins. So lighting in the front, like what, yeah. what is your plan for that? So we, we are going to do some um, recessed lighting, aka pot lights, and okay. that'll be throughout the renovation. Um, but at the entryway, especially around the mirror, I like to do wall sconces. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on. So we're gonna do a new staircase for you. We're just gonna modernize it. And then you have a wall that separates your family room from that entryway. It's not just a wall. Do you it's, know what that wall is? Tell me. That is That wall has feelings yeah. because um, there's been a lot of discussion around that because I built that so that my children wouldn't fall, which I realize now was incredibly irrational. But after you have a baby, you oh, envision you... all the terrible things. Yeah. So what are you going to do there? Okay, so we are going to replace it with, um, it's, a, uh, it's actually something that was really common in the 70s design. It's the vertical slatted wall. But they are having a major the comeback. The Brady's bun. The, the Brady bun, yes, yes, right? Exactly. Major comeback. So I like to say it's timeless because it's come for full circle. We so we're gonna do Ooh. something that allows visibility, but still, when you're watching a movie in your family room, it's it's and you know it's cozy, it's intimate, and you're not really exposed to all the elements of the enter and exit of your home. Colors. There's different colors certainly, and I think that was about, that was based on how we chose the flooring. Um, but once we get to your hardwood flooring throughout, that will dictate the actual slats. Um, this in terms of the, the format of it, this goes from floor to ceiling without any kind of like oh. header or footer. So see how this is capped at there and there? Yeah. And then we can And no that. child will fall through. Nobody. Nope. Nobody. So where the kitchen is now is great, except we found that it didn't make sense. We had this beautiful big room that no one ever uses and we're all crammed in the kitchen. So that's a big part of why we wanted to see if you could reimagine this mm -hmm. whole area. We all know like you're, you're gonna live and entertain and do all the things in this kitchen, right? Yeah. So the bigger it is, yep. the more functional it's going to be. Mm -hmm. We're going to open this space up completely, but the way we're still going to sort of divide it is mainly by furniture plans. So there's still going to be a noticeable divide between the spaces, okay. but it is going to be one big open space. 
It's not gonna be too much effort. We do have to remove a few walls and they are load bearing, but it's absolutely worth the effort. To that point, I think because we wanna do uh, an expansive island, we're still gonna need somewhere to dine on the rare occasion that your whole family wants to yeah, get. Yeah, no, Post we definitely do, yeah. We will actually create a little nook and a nook sort of to me, means when it's a built-in bench and you've got some occasional seating around it. So I've always loved an eating nook. I've, I've romanticized that for so long, oh, so yay. I'm so excited about that. Yay! Your family room and the kitchen are going to have to marry in a way so that it doesn't feel like we stopped the renovation here. The flooring will be the same throughout, except for what we spoke about with the entry. Okay. Um, and we wanted to get you some really warm hardwood floors. Okay. So we went to Stone Tile for this as well. Ooh, okay. Um, and this is solid engineered. Stone Tile has a great selection of all different textures and finishes, and there's really no toxic coatings, all the good things you don't want in Perfect. your home. Perfect. Yeah. So we bought some of these um, in okay. our conversation. You said you didn't want light, so I brought you no light, no. something a bit caramel, you can touch and feel, and then um, two more darker, and you'll see a difference in the texture, but you can touch and feel, and then again, you can see all the great layers of the engineering yeah. that's done behind this, so. This feels a little cottagey to me, and I love that, but mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like I would want it to feel in, in yeah. and again, I'm not the designer, so, but no, okay. I, Kevin and I had talked about okay. these, a darker feel, so I like that, okay. and I'm gonna jump up front and say we don't want the bumpity bump bumps. Okay. No bumpity bump up. So this one's great, right? Because it gives you the coloring that you want. Right. That's This is our Cafe Dark Roast. That feels pop. right. That feels yeah, good? Yeah, okay. I think so. I think I, and just seeing all of your lovely um, fur babies, I think they will, yeah. they will yeah. use this. So and are they, they going to scratch this? Like what do you No, no so, this is very durable. Um, so with all of the kitchen millwork, we've got something that's just off white, something with a wood grain texture that's white. So you can play around with these. The one solid white is in this finishing box as well. This, I don't know that the shine is the is the answer. Again, too many bumpity bump bumps yep. for me. <laughs> this right. one here yeah. is the truest white, and it's the really warm, flat, chalky white. That's the whitest of the whites. Okay, I don't think I want the gray. Okay, so one of the mood inspiration images I shared with you had this island, had white cabinetry, but then I kind of, I found a great shot that infused wood, and this is like a natural blonde wood for us. But this would be amongst all the white. And by amongst, I mean in such a small dose, but it's there. So your island, if you recall the floor plan, the island yeah. is gonna have some bar seating. Yeah. So wherever there's bar seating, you need to have space for your knees. Yeah. So I'm proposing that this goes on that face mm -hmm. of the island where your knees are to I'll offer sort of that warmth to yep. break up all the white and the stone that will be on your island. And so does it go anywhere else in the... I think I think it's going to live in a few other places. We can actually do the inserts of all your cabinets so when you open them, it's not white, it has like a wood interior <gasps> finish. I haven't seen that before. So there, there's a great way to see it and it's a nice balance. Also, you have incredible height in this kitchen, in this area right now. Mm -hmm. And we, don't, we can't do solid white millwork right to the ceiling. No. So I think we should back it in a wall paneling that's also warm and wood. So for countertops, we went to Cambria. Love that, okay. Love it, it was such a fantastic experience. The showroom is spectacular. Yes. We got plenty of options to choose from. This is where I don't want to overwhelm you, but they just have such fantastic materials. But I think materials. that's why I get stressed because I want all of it. Like I think it's all good. And yep. then you're like, well, no, what about this? And what about this? And how do you narrow that down? So we want a little bit more veining. And by veining, we just mean sort of a natural contrast. Yeah. So that's the options that I brought here today. Some of them are more dramatic than others. So we have to kind of keep in mind how, how big the island is and how much drama we actually want. So it's going to be pretty big. It's a big island, It's a right? big island. Mm -hmm. And these are big yes, we, slaps. <laughs> yes, we're, we're over 10 feet on the island. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's now, a process of I animation. I know there's brown in that. Mm -hmm. Do we want that? Is that a, like? Well, hey, look, there's brown in, in our whole scheme. There's earthiness and warmth to it all for sure. And then, is there a backsplash that we're doing too? So we're gonna waterfall it, which means it's just the countertop that's gonna come up. There's really not that much backsplash because it, um, we're gonna have the galley, the actual galley working kitchen, mm -hmm. and then you're having a lot of pantry because you're having so much storage. Right. So mm -hmm. it's minimal vertical display of the quartz, and it's gonna be mostly island. So this is probably my suggestion for you. Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye to so that. So okay, goodbye to that one. Yep. Um, this one, again, I just think it's a little too common and safe, but... Looks like it has too much brown too in it, maybe? This one, yeah. 
It's a cloudy. I see very cloudy. Okay. So okay. I like these two. I think knowing you, I would be up at night thinking, is Cheryl like it? Is Cheryl like it? Is she going to be scared? <laughs> no. Because this commitment. is just so, this is way more dramatic. Okay. So although I love it, I think you and the family will love this one on the website. So this would go on the island? Mm-hmm. And then the witch Google would go on the back. Same. It goes oh, up. all the way. Yeah. Yep. Just one. Just, just one. picking one. Yep. Okay, well, yeah, so now that makes sense. That's yes. a no. I'm going to call a friend. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> I called a friend. Okay. And my friend said this. This one. Yes. Good choice. Kevin. Kevin's on a call, but he, he likes that one, too. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we made decisions. We did. So now what okay. happens? So good progress. Okay. Very good progress here. Okay. So now we know exactly what we're putting into the home okay. on all elements. We know the floor plans. We yep. know the floors. We know yep. the kitchens. We know the appliances. So we're working through the construction planning phase now. Okay. So this is a very exciting phase, but we still have a lot of work to do. Yes. We're going to do all the legwork for you, though. Okay. So we're going to go back and ensure that all of our, our building team, all of our trades are on the same page as us. We're going to yep. create our scopes of work. We're going to work with them to make sure they are completely aligned with our expectations, your expectations, mm -hmm. all of our timelines, all of our budgets and costs and everything. Yeah. And then at that point, once we know exactly what we're getting, which we do, our costs and our timelines, then we're ready to execute the build. Amazing. You guys yeah. have made yeah. this, this part of the process so incredibly easy and fun. So I'm, I'm excited for the rest. <laughs> I love it. I yeah. love it though. This is awesome, guys. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. So the planning process is everything. Absolutely. How much, where, when, if we want that, how much, like what? Okay. Happening? I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to have your own portal, okay. which you can access. And as we get pricing in from each trade that that we select for you. Actually, mm -hmm. you're gonna have the choice. So you're gonna see, I mean, D McQueen, for example, is most likely gonna do the cabinetry, mm -hmm. but we do have other trade partners that we use. Okay. And you have the option of choosing whoever you want. Right. So we will show you. Uh, you will receive an email and you will be able to see the actual quotes that come in. Okay. And you will see the budget build up, right? So as you pick, as you make selections, you will see the budget build up. So you'll know where we are in the budget at all times. You'll know as we're getting closer to the final of the budget. You'll know, yeah, and you'll also see this schedule. So we'll build the schedule together. So it makes it easier too if we need to make changes. Or Absolutely, and okay. planning is when you make changes and, and you'll see it affect the budget live and you'll see it affect your schedule. Oh, okay, great. Right? Hmm. All right. So we have everything planned, we have everything scheduled, we have everything priced out. Mm -hmm. So there should be no surprises. Of mm -hmm. course, no job goes 100% to plan, mm -hmm. but at least we're prepared for it. But nothing's in the dark. Nothing's in the dark. Everything is out in the open. You know the cost for everything. Okay. 